and Oworzenik Krakowski Polish pronunciation, Bba Ank Kra Kosk I, plural, Oworzonki Krakowski, Bba Ak I Kra Kosk, also spelled Obarzonik, is a braided ring-shaped bread that is boiled and sprinkled with salt, poppy seeds, sesame seeds, etc., before being baked. It has a white, sweetish, moist and chewy crumb underneath a crunchy golden brown crust. Traditionally sold from street carts, it is a popular snack in the Polish city of Krakow, where it has the status of a regional food with protected geographical indication. It is closely related to, but distinct from, bagels and bublicks. Etymology The term Oworzenik Krakowski is Polish. The Polish noun Oworzenik, or Obarzanik, derives from the verb Oworzik, to parboil which refers to the distinctive technique of boiling the dough before baking. The adjective Krakowski denotes anything coming from or related to the city of Krakow. Description An Oborzenik Krakowski is a ring-shaped baked product. It takes the form of an oval or, seldom, a circle with a hole in the middle. Its surface is formed by strands of dough, round or oval in cross-section, twisted into a spiral. The color ranges from light golden to light brown, with a distinct sheen. A typical Oborzenik is 12 to 17 cm, 5 to 7 in, in diameter, 2 to 4 cm, 0.8 to 1.6 in thick, and weighs 80 to 120 grams, 3 to 4 ounces. The visible strands of the spiral on the crust are firmish to the touch and the surface varies from smooth to slightly rough. The crumb inside is pale, soft and slightly moist. The taste is Swedish, which is typical of bakery products that are first parboiled and then baked. Avorzonki are traditionally decorated by sprinkling them with various ingredients, including coarse salt, poppy seeds, sesame seeds, nigella seeds, mixed herbs or mixed spices, paprika, caraway, pepper, grated cheese, onion, etc. Ingredients and preparation the dough for avorzonki is made from wheat flour, up to 30% of which may be replaced with rye flour. Other ingredients, per 100 kg of flour, include 2 to 3 kg of fat, 2 to 4 kg of sugar, 1 to 2 kg of yeast. 1 to 1.5 kilograms 2 to 3 pounds of salt 40 to 48 liters 9 to 11 imp gal 11 to 13 us gal of water the dough is prepared using the single stage method once suitably mixed the dough is set aside for initial rising which may take from a few minutes in summer to an hour in winter the dough is divided into small portions which are rolled out and cut into strips the baker twists two or three strips into a spiral and then forms a ring by twisting them around his hand and presses it against the table. The ring is placed on a board or mesh for proofing, and then parboiled in water with a temperature of at least 90 degrees Celsius 194 degrees Fahrenheit until it rises to the surface. The water may be sweetened with very small amounts of honey. The avorzenik is then decorated and baked. Once it has cooled, an avorzenik may be placed in packaging. If packaged before it has cooled, it quickly loses its crunchiness and becomes rubbery. Avorzonki are usually sold unpackaged and unlabeled. History The earliest known references to Avorzonki being baked in Krakow, Poland S. former royal capital, appear in the accounts of the court of King Vladislaus II Jagiello and his consort, Queen Hedwig. An entry dated to 2 March 1394 mentions the product using both its Polish name and its equivalent in Polish medieval Latin, circuli, or rings, for the queen, for rings of Oborzanki, pro circulus obarzankij, one gross. In 1496, King John Albert granted the baker's guild of the city of Krakow a monopoly on baking white bread, including Oborzanki. This privilege was subsequently confirmed by all Polish kings up to John III Sobieski. Initially, Oborzonki could be made only during Lent by bakers specially designated for that purpose by the guild. The guild issued a decree in 1611 regulating the sale of Oborzonki inside the city walls and the choice of bakers who were allowed to sell them. A radical change took place in the 19th century. 
On the 22nd of January 1802, a decree was signed which stipulated that any baker had the right to bake avorzonki when it was his turn to do so. The bakers authorized to bake avorzonki were selected by the drawing of lots. The custom of drawing lots probably ended in 1849, there being no evidence that it continued after that date. This could mean that, over time, the rules were relaxed and any baker could make avorzonki on any day of the year, as is still the case today. Avorzonki were sold from stalls which opened before 6 a.m. so that the inhabitants of Krakow could buy them freshly baked early in the morning. The guild monitored the quality and freshness of the products, eight of its members being responsible for carrying out checks on stalls. Any transgressions were severely punished. Eventually, people started selling avorzonki in other ways. As late as the 1950s, they were sold straight from wicker baskets. In modern times, avorzonki have been sold not only in shops and bakeries, but also from street carts. There are between 170 and 180 such carts offering avorzonki in Krakow today. An average of almost 150,000 are sold on the Krakow market in a single day. The Avorzonik Krakowski often features in campaigns to promote Krakow. As a well-known symbol of Krakow and Lesser Poland, it is often used in advertising aimed at locals and tourists alike. It has also won an award at the Nasz Kulinarny Dziedziktwo, Our Culinary Heritage, competition, and received a prize at the 2003 Pologra Farm International Fair in Poznan. It always features at the Sweeto Kleba Bread Festival, an event that is held regularly in Krakow. See also List of breads References Sources This article incorporates some text from Council Regulation EC, No. 510-2006. Avorzenik Krakowski. EC No Place PGI 0050674 is published by your Lex. According to the website. S. Copyright Notice, except where otherwise stated, reuse of the Urlex data for commercial or non-commercial purposes is authorized provided the source is acknowledged. Copyright European Union, http colon slash slash year dash lex dot europa dot eu slash 1998 to 2016. The reuse policy of the European Commission is implemented by the Commission decision of the 12th of December 2011. Belinska, Maria, 2008. The Bagel, The Surprising History of a Modest Bread. New Haven and London, Yale University Press. ISBN 978-0-300-11229-0. Council Regulation, EC, No. 510-2006. Avorzenik Krakowski. EC No Place PGI 005-0674 of Retrieved 16 April 2016, Dimbinska, Maria 1999. Weaver, William Woys, ed. Food and Drink in Medieval Poland, Rediscovering a Cuisine of the Past. Philadelphia, University of Pennsylvania Press. ISBN 0-8122-3224-0. Szczecki, Alexander, 1854. Zysi Demo Jadwigi i Jogeli, z Registro Skarbowicz z Law 1388-1417. Private Life of Hedwig and Jogello, from Treasury Registers of 1388-1417. Biblioteka Warszawska, in Polish. Warszawa, Drukarnia Stanisława Strawskiego, Vol. 2-299-320. Further reading Chaya, Isabella, Gadocha, Marcin, 2008. Avorzenik Krakowski, Historia, Tradicja, Symbolika Avorzenik Krakowski, History, Tradition, Symbolism, in Polish. Krakow, Bartosz Glowacki. ISBN 9788392686. Kaczynski, Michael, 2008. Media related to Avorzenik at Wikimedia Commons